hello friends welcome to the new course and in this course you are going to learn programming front-end application using ADO.NET and SQL Server as a backend so in this sub series we will get introduced to the data access support provided by Microsoft so ODBC. ODBC is Open Database Connectivity and it's a legacy data access model introduced by Microsoft. So it was a old model in uh, mid 80s and 90s. So during that time there are API for Open Database Connectivity. So ODBC API require more coding to perform data access. So next model is DAO data access object, which is a object based data model. Here it is a set of API and it is a procedural model. Here DAO is data access object, which is a object based data model works well with uh, jet databases so in dao here database and front end application stays on the same same machine so we call this as one entire application say for example let's state that your database is a file based database and we can consider here an ms access and here is your front end application and the front end application is using the data access object They both resides on the same machine that's why we call it as one tire application so it will send command access the data the data is retrieved then using DAO you will display the data in your front-end application so the next is RDO remote data object so DAO is data access object RDO is the uh, next uh, fine-tuned version with the uh, remote access so rdo api resolved the issue issue of uh, one tire and allows connection to sql server so that means your database and front end can be in uh, two different boxes so we call this as a two tire application so for example So in this model, we call this as two tire. So the tire one is here, PC one, which contains a front end application. So we call this as a front end application, which uses the RDO APIs or RDO API and through RDO API, you will talk to a machine that resides on a different IP address or a school server which resides on a different PC. So RDO talks to a school server, codes the data and retrieves back. Then through RDO, your front end application will display the results. So likewise, if you use a two tire application, you can have multiple such client machine through RDO all can talk to the same database and retrieve the result so the result will be consistent between all the pc right say for example if you retrieve a product table from here and if you have different pcs all will retrieve the information through rdo 
API and it displays the result. And this is what called two tier application and RDO supports talking to the database which is in the remote machine. So the next generation to RDO was ADO. So we call that as ActiveX data object which is an all-purpose data access object. So all-purpose in the sense ADO can talk to many databases including Active Directory. But uh, the ADO API lacks data transfer on web application. So ADO can talk to multiple database. So not only a school server, it can talk to many database like Oracle Active Directory server, right? So the flip side here is it's not easy to transfer the data over the web. So that's where ADO lags. Of course, the in old days people use uh, third party application and uh, XML APIs that ties with the ADO to achieve the web result. But uh, in later releases of Microsoft, the ADO.NET is the extension to the ADO which covers uh, even more wide area in the data access field. So ADO.NET can talk to the web through XML. So that support is available with uh, ADO.NET. In ADO.NET, data transfer on web is a tough task, but here it can be done easily through XML support. In this course, we will see how to use ADO.NET to talk to the SQL Server database. So that means we will use ADO.NET as the front end API, SQL Server as back end. And here we will use C hash as the programming language. You can usually use this with a VB.NET as well. But uh, in this course, we will use a C sharp language. We will also start one more course to learn entity framework in the uh, uh, coming future. That's all here uh, in this video. It's uh, just uh, introduction and we will keep moving on in the coming videos. Thank you for watching.